we've got a hydraulic system demo we'd like to talk to you about. And uh, hopefully I think you'll be pretty excited about the new technology Bosch Retro has to offer. What we have here is a dual system with opposing cylinders over here. The lower cylinder is run by a traditional proportional valve with a uh, using our MLC H controller and a VFD drive to generate system pressure. The top cylinder is what you might probably are going to be interested in is run with our new PFC technology, position force control, where we have a servo motor and a bi-directional pump that's, that's drive controlled, actually positioning the cylinder and doing force control. Both cylinders have a position feedback barrel drilled into the cylinder so we can get position feedback on the, on the system. So what I'm going to do now is single stroke the top cylinder and then single stroke the bottom cylinder just so you can see it move. So I'm going to put it in manual mode, single cycle, set some parameters. I'm going to position the top cylinder to 10 inches down. So I'm going to enable it and then start it. And you can see it accurately goes to 10 inches. Now I'm going to pull it back. It goes to a half inch. I can do the same thing with the bottom cylinder except as before it's controlled with a proportional valve versus a uh, bi-directional pump. This, by the way, is a standard gear pump and we're using a bleed-off to maintain minimum RPM. So I'm going to enable the prop system. You can see the, the motor is at minimum speed. It's maintaining system pressure. And then as the valve sucks up oil, it, then you watch the motor speed up as I go up to 10 inches. Now, of course, the reaction time of this induction motor is much slower than the servo motor, so it took almost a half second for it to build up enough pressure to get the system to move. So what I'm going to do now is bring it back to 0.5 inches. You can see that the, the motor sped up to, to, to make the move. So that's a manual mode. So what this shows is we can accurately position the cylinder. I'm not doing any force control. I'm just positioning the cylinder to where I want it to be. And I could set the force, the position, the speed, and the act and deck of the, of the system. We also have, an, uh, I've programmed in the MLC a auto cycle feature where I can put the system in automatic mode and, and do a automatic cycle. In this particular cycle, the two cylinders meet each other and then generate a force and hold for a period of time and then go back again. But they're opposing, they're opposing each other. So let me uh, turn that on. So we can watch it go here. You can notice there's a blended move where it slows down before it touches, but it's holding. I commanded, tw I'm commanding 1,200 pounds of force from the PFC, and it's doing that about 1,200. And then I'm commanding 1,000 pounds of force on the uh, proportional system. And this cycle just runs forever this way. One of the unique features of the PFC. It's commanded very similarly to your uh, ball screw system, meaning that you use uh, position blocks. I'm using Profinet, but you can use Ethernet IP to command a position and force, very similar to what you're doing today with position and torque limiting uh, on the ball screw version. With this system, you would actually change the torque limit to a force limit, but it would 
pretty much be the same code that you have today with the ball screw system, except it would be servo based with a hydraulic uh, hy hydraulic cylinder and a bi-directional pump. This, of course, the size of the pump is dependent upon how much the cylinder size is going to be and the flows you need and, and that kind of thing. We also have, um, if you maintain pressure for a very, very long time, uh, we have the ability to have a uh, what they call uh, compensated piston compensated pump where we could change the swash plate and require a lot less torque out of the servo motor to maintain pressure. If, but if it's just a short cycle, uh, you could probably do it with just a standard uncompensated piston pump. Okay, I have another cycle in here that I'm going to show you that's more like a press. This cycle will actually, the one cylinder will be act as a bulkhead, the other cylinder actually touches and, and uh, goes. We'll see that running. So it's, I commanded 1,500 pounds of force that hold it for five seconds, one second up, five seconds down. So it's maintaining that force for five seconds. And the bottom cylinder just stays where it's at and holds 1,500 pounds, opposing. Now we could go, of course, much faster than that, but I was just trying to demonstrate uh, doing a press cycle. And you can see the induction motor is at maintaining pressure because it's not moving. If you look at the pump, you can see um, uh, that if we're bleeding at 1200 psi so the system pressure is 1200 psi and the flow is 12 gallons another unique feature here that uh, i like about the servo system is we don't have to do any cooling because the motor only runs when it needs to run and the oil is enclosed between the cylinder and the and the motor you can see with the bleed off valve we have on the prop system the temperature is rising rather fast Whereas the servo system, the tank on the tank side is staying pretty stable. And it probably doesn't require an oil core. The other advantage of the servo based system, of course, it's very, very quiet. You can't even hear it move other than the pump going up and down. So it's significantly two major advantages, no noise, no heat. I just want to give you a quick look what's inside the cabinet. Uh, we have a, a safety relay and a power supply for the safe torque off on the motors. Uh, MLCH controller, which is an L45 with an H block for the proportional valve here on the circos. We have a VFD drive for the induction motor and I'm commanding it via the MLC by a Profinet. We could do Ethernet IP or we could have done circos. I chose Profinet. I didn't uh, to because that's what I've done before. And then we have the intelligent PFC drive, also commanded by a Profinet, could be Ethernet IP. Uh, here, it's a, 20, uh, it's a 70 amp drive for the, for the servo motor, but it's self-contained. So this unit, the MLCH, just commands positions and forces to the drive, and the drive actually closes the loop and makes the move. So these are the major pieces, the, the uh, servo drive, BFD drive, proportional control via the H-block, and the overall controller of an MLC-45.